Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about pre-approvals, specifically to the fact that not all pre-approvals are the same. What does that mean? A client called me the other day, and they said that they were pre-approved for a home up to $1.2 million. But for some reason, they weren't comfortable with the person that they were working with or the amount that they said that they can afford. They wanted to make sure that they can afford that monthly payment, and they don't want to stretch themselves too much. Sure enough, we checked their credit, filled out an application, verified their income, their assets with all their documents, and they were only able to be approved for $625,500, and that's after they pay off all of their bills. So the real amount, if they don't pay off their bills, is significantly less. Sure enough, that pre-approval was not worth the paper that it was printed on. And yes, they were issued a pre-approval, but it wasn't worth a thing. As a realtor, aside from your time, your most valuable asset is your experience. And you don't want to waste your time running around showing properties to people who can't afford it, only to be surprised in the end that they can't afford the home that you were showed them and that the offer was accepted on. So what you should do is, when you get a pre-approval, first things first, verify that person and that lender on the internet, make sure that, the, that their reviews are good. And then the second thing that you should do is call the person who issued the pre-approval and verify. Did you check their credit? Yes. What was their credit score? Did you verify their assets? Did you check their income? What What is their debt to income ratio? And what is it based on? And also ask, uh, did you pre-approve them for an FHA loan, a VA loan, a conventional loan, and so on? This way, you won't waste your time. Uh, of course, if you have any questions, comments, complaints, or compliments, please leave them in the section below. Thank you. 